Hello, USA, America. This is Kemphel folk artist Dennis Ramsey of Nova Scotia, Canada. Winnie Kemphel, come by the Dennis Ramsey paintings, please. I live at 27 Canaan Avenue, Kemphel, apartment B, Nova Scotia, Canada, yellow house, white trim, apartment B, upstairs. Also, you Americans, folk art paintings, abstract art paintings, fine art paintings, too. How much? 50 bucks each, 100 bucks each, 200 bucks each. I think you get the picture. Push that red subscribe button now. Thank you very much. Now, you should get rid of Donald Trump, November 2020, in your next elections. Donald Trump is a very poor president, not good. He's a bad president. Several reasons why he's not a good president, I'll name them. One, we have the coronavirus, 19, and all you Americans are not wearing face masks. Why come? There's thousands of you dying every day in USA America. Donald Trump says the coronavirus 19 has died out, which is false. There's people dropping like flies, left, right, and center in USA America, even today. I think today you lost 1,200 people. Wear the face mask and work towards a vaccine or a medication to beat the coronavirus 19. Also, he's not uniting the USA Americans together as one. You have to get united in USA America so you'll have peace, happiness, and you'll get rid of poverty and racism, and you'll get rid of your bad problems. Says Kemphel folk artist Dennis Ramsey. Joe Biden seems like a sensible person if I could recommend something, vote Joe Biden this November 2020 in USA America. Get a better president that is sensible, realistic, and up for all the people of USA America, which I think Joe Biden is. USA America, you need to unite. You have to unite together as one. Get rid of your divisions. Stop dividing all these groups that are different because you're never going to have peace, you're never going to have harmony, and you're never going to get rid of racism until you unite together as one. Problem with Americans, you're all so divided. You got your divisions of groups that are senseless, stupid, and dumbfounded. If you unite as one, you'll get rid of your problems. Martin Luther King couldn't get rid of racism for several reasons. Malcolm X tried, John F. Kennedy tried, John Lennon tried, and the list goes on and on and on and on and on. Number one, the key to peace and harmony and blissfulness is you got to have unite together as one. If you can unite all the peoples together, like you did in the protest marches, the Hispanics, whites, Indians, blacks, so on and so forth, were getting along, marching together, drinking water together, talking. They were all in harmony and blissfulness. That's what you got to do. If you can get all the races of USA America together as one, and get along as one, you'll get rid of racism, poverty, and hatred. You'll also get rid of bad cops. Now, I do understand USA America has bad cops. Guess what? Canada has bad cops, too. I've seen them. I'll mention no names, but I've seen cops in Canada threaten people with their 9 millimeter handguns. I'll mention no names. I'll keep that to myself. I've seen cops, RCMP officers, beat people in Canada 
with their long flashlights are made of metal. Beat them on the head and the back with the flashlights. I'll mention no names, who these officers are. Even in Canada, we have bad cops. Every country has bad cops. USA, America, Canada, Russia, China, the list goes on and on and on, plus tax. Now, the bad cops in USA, America, are killing whites, blacks, Hispanics, Asians, Indians, Mexicans, and the list goes on and on and on, plus tax. Now, most of these victims, they all have one thing in common. They're all living in poverty and poorness. Most of them are considered insignificant and not regarded by the authorities or police. They're not respected because they're living in poverty, they have no money, so they're picked on by the police. Sometimes the police kill these poor blacks and whites and Hispanics and Indians and Mexicans, and the list goes on and on and on, plus tax. Bad cops are in every country, Canada, the USA, China, Russia, England, you name it. You got bad cops all over the world. What you got to do is weed them out. The good cops have to get rid of the bad cops. The good cops have to weed out the bad cops in their police stations and departments. What does this do? It brings more happiness and less crime and less killings to the black people, the white people, Hispanics, and all the other races. Cops that kill people are killing people that are insignificant, meaning money-wise, they're poor. They're people that are living in poverty and living in low housing by slum landlords. And the cops look at it this way. If I kill another black guy or poor white guy or poor Hispanic, I can get away with it. Who are they going to believe? The poor black guy, the poor white guy, or the poor Hispanic? No, they're going to believe the cop. The cop can cover things up and sweep it under the rug. This is true. Bad cops need to be weeded out of police stations and departments. And Trump is not for the black peoples of America. Trump is not there for the poor white Americans. He couldn't care less about them. Trump does not care about the poor Hispanics, Asians, Mexicans, neither. Donald Trump's got to go. Vote Joe Biden in as your next president, November 2020. Now, I got to tell you, I've lived 56 years on this planet, Earth, and I'll tell you who dies in USA, America. It's the poor peoples. The poor people living in housing projects, living in low-income housing, and these are poor white people, poor black people, poor Hispanics, poor Mexicans. These are the people that are being killed off by the police departments in USA, America, Canada, China, Russia, and all the other countries of the world. The people dying are poor white people, poor black people, poor Hispanics, poor Mexicans. That's the one thing they all have in common. They're all living in poverty, and they're living in poor conditions. So the cops look at it this way. If I kill this poor Hispanic guy, nobody's going to miss him. We can sweep that under the rug and cover it up. If I kill this poor Chinese guy, nobody's going to miss him. He's living in poverty anyhow. Who are they going to believe? Me or him? we got to get rid of the bad cops in Canada, too. I've seen RCMP officers beat people with flashlights made of metal and physically abuse them. I've seen cops in Canada pull their 9mm handguns on residents of Canada. There has to be a check. 
These cops have to be observed and weeded out. The bad cops have to go. Get rid of the bad cops in the police departments. Get rid of the bad cops in these police stations. And replace them with good cops that will treat all folks fairly, equally. And I mean the people that are living in poverty. The poor whites, blacks, Hispanics, Mexicans have to be treated fairly by the cops of the world. All police in the world, you have to treat everybody equally, fairly. So, weed out the bad cops, get rid of them, and bring in better cops that will treat everybody equally and fairly. Now, even in Canada, we got our problems. There's bad cops here in Kempville. There's bad cops in the Minas. There's bad cops in New Brunswick. There's bad cops in Newfoundland. There's bad cops in PEI. These are all parts of Canada. Bad cops are everywhere. Every police department in the world has two or three bad apple cops. Now you good cops that are in these police stations, you got to get rid of these bad cops. Weed them out. Get rid of them and bring in good cops. If we have good cops in all police stations, the world will be better. Because poor people, poor blacks, whites, Hispanics, Mexicans, Asians, will get treated fairly and better and equally. Now, I feel bad for George Floyd that was murdered by the cop in Minnesota that strangled him to death with his knee pressed against his neck. I feel bad for George Floyd. If we had a good cop there, that wouldn't have happened. George Floyd died at the hands of bad cops, criminals. Keep in mind, there is good and bad in every profession. It don't matter if it's cops, lawyers, judges, anything. There's good and bad in all professions. And poor George Floyd had the bad luck of having a bad cop kill him. Kill him dead. A good cop wouldn't have killed George Floyd. Now George Floyd was already handcuffed. Then they put him on the ground and the cops strangled him to death with a knee on the back of his neck for nine minutes. A good cop would have took him to the police station in his handcuffs, put him in the jail, and released him later that day and give him a ticket for his crime, meaning a fine, a fine for what he did. He didn't deserve to die. All he deserved was a hundred dollar fine because all he did is he didn't pay for a meal that was 20 bucks. He used a counterfeit $20 bill. What I would have done I would have paid for his meal and let him go if I was the cop. And I'll tell you why. Haven't we all been hungry where we couldn't get a supper? George couldn't get a supper and he was killed for $20 by a bad cop. I would have paid the $20 meal and let him go. Say, don't do this again. I'm going to let you off the hook. That's what I would have done. I said, get on home, walk on home. But unfortunately, he ran into a bad cop. So all you cops out there that watch this video, weed out the bad cops in your departments and police stations. Get rid of them. Subscribe to the Dennis Ramsey YouTube channel. Push that red subscribe button now. Thank you very much. And I'll tell you a true story. Years ago, I was threatened by cops and they threatened me with their handguns and other foreign objects. Now, I won't tell you their names, but if this can happen to me, a poor white guy, it sure as hell can happen to anybody, be it poor blacks, Hispanics, Mexicans, or Asians. So get rid of the bad cops at your police stations. Replace them with good ones. A message from world-famous Kempfel folk artist, Dennis Ramsey. Subscribe to my channel. Push the red subscribe button now. Peace out, folks. Peace out.